ओम शांति ओम शांति वेलकम टू एवरी वन टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टूडे इज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ डे टूडे इज थीम इज कॉन्स्टेंट हैप्पीनेस सुपर सेंस ऑफ जॉय नाउ वी विल लिसन फ्रॉम मोइनी दीदी ओम शांति ओम शांति साइलेंस का अभ्यास है द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ साइलेंस वी अक्यूमुलेट द पावर टुडेज ब्लेसिंग टुडेज ब्लेसिंग इन बाबा स्मुरली वॉज सो पावरफुल होती है तो किसी चीज को मिटाना है तो एकदम मिटा देती है वैसे साइलेंस की शक्ति से भी जो कुछ भी ऐसा पास्ट का है अगर वो रोज की रोज साफ कर दो तो लोग पसंद और प्रभु पसंद बन जाएंगे इतने तक बाबा ने कहा कि कोई लकीर भी ना रहे कोई ट्रेस भी ना रहे If there is anything of the past, there shouldn't be any trace of that. So there will be silence. So today, very good, very spacious. Baba has said, "Use the power of the power. Full stop." Many times, the talk is over. We take it from mind. But what did we take from that time? Was there a realization? Was there a transformation? क्या मेरे को प्राप्ति मैंने क्या की वट अटेनमेंट डिड आई हैव दैट इज अ बिग डील आई ऑलवेज थिंक हु वट एवर सिचुएशन कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ एस इफ देर आर एनी सच संस्कार विद इन एस दैट आई नीड टू चेंज ट्रांसफॉर्म वैल्यूबल भी है नाउ द टाइम इज वैल्यूबल एंड ऑल्सो डेलीकेट it's valuable because baba baba says don't waste the time and it's delicate because the situations in the outside world day by day it's becoming more and more degraded so today's blessing read it once again it's very nice in the month of december how can all of us stay constantly happy happiness is related to something very internal the state of our mind the thoughts in our mind it is said it's easy it's easy to laugh but it is hard to smile if something silly happens you laugh but to be constantly cheerful where the inner conscience the subconscious is cheerful some are by nature very cheerful very entertaining some are serious but it still they are very entertaining but for that the cleansing of the subconscious is very important many things happen in our life there is a rise and fall descent 
if I continue, if the situation might have passed, oh, it had happened like this in the past. And based on that, if I continue to fluctuate up and down, then I won't allow the newness to emerge because I'm keeping the old within me. If the old is stuffed inside, how will the new one emerge? So even if something comes in front, the old emerges. Even if I have tolerated in the past, it has been accumulated within. Till now, so many things has happened to the body, but I consider it I consider it as if nothing had happened. The least memory of the body, oh, I keep it in my mind. Otherwise, the whole scene emerges in the mind. So if we keep an aim that our consciousness, subconscious has to be cheerful. The word ati means a lot. No, it's gone to the extreme. It's gone to the climax. And Ati Indriya super senses joy. I ate something. I got something. That is um, the happiness and joy based on the senses. You heard something. You saw something. You felt happy. But internally, through Baba, through the Supreme Father, the experience of bliss that you experience at Amrit Vela when you sit. And at that moment, if every thought is unique, not the one of asking, how will that joy be? Whether it is um, of enthusiasm, whether it is of love or of joy, it's all full and new. But if I'm holding on to the past, so it's all based on the sense organs because I heard, I saw, I said something. Baba said, little, little, um, little, little mistakes that we do. We won't say, we will say that they did like this to me, they did, they said this to me. If we keep carrying a big baggage with us and we move around in super senses joy, we have to stay double light, very light. Baba said, keep swinging in the swing of super senses joy. To swing, we have to lift our feet up, then only we can swing. You all, I'm sure when you all were young, you must have been the swinging with high heights. You would feel as if you're touching the sky. But we have to let go of the ground. But if I get scared, oh, what will happen? And if I keep holding, we keep holding to the to two chains of um, gyan and yoga and keep swinging in that. So all of you have to churn a little bit on this. See how? Every day I can keep cleansing myself. Nothing should stay for the next day. Because new things will emerge. But if I'm not letting go of the old, I won't experience of the new. <coughs> if I'm holding on to something of the sorrow, uh, you won't be able to experience happiness because that's still there in your heart. So all of you clean your consciousness the the year is changing so you will definitely invoke the new but firstly we have to pack up the old what is that from the past and old that i shouldn't be holding on to with me so we all have to do the preparations and then we will have the nature of super sensual joy and whatever is old on the remove it and there will be space for the new if there is already stuff filled inside there is no space for the new to come in so all of you use the power of silence power to pack up whatever we need to do in the next two three days we have a lot of work to do we should do that 
and then we can have a very auspicious beginning of the new year and then you will be able to experience the wonder of Baba. Super sensuous joy. To be cheerful means to swing in super sensuous joy. With this stage of super sensuous joy, you will easily be able to invoke other souls. This powerful stage is this powerful stage is called the world benefactor stage